Okay. Just okay. complete trust in God. Because, you know, the Bible tells us that, you know, our lives have been confirmed formed in the image of Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. glory Hallelujah. to God. Knowing, to, knowing that, that your life has been conformed to the same image. Yes. yes. Gives you the same composure. Yes. Gives you the same confidence yes. in Christ Jesus that when you're faced, when you're in such a situation, when you mm. give an instruction, mm. it happens Hallelujah. as you have said it. Wonderful. You know, I'm also thinking about that word pleroma, mm. you know, the totality, totality. the fullness mm. of God, oh, the yes. fullness of the Godhead was in Jesus. Mm -hmm. And just what you're saying, we are complete in Christ. Mm -hmm. So we operate with that same pleroma. Oh, that we are dead and our lives mm. are hid in, in Christ. Christ. Oh, glory Lord. to God. That's what the Bible says and that's what it is. It is. Our right. lives are hid in Christ. Mm -hmm. And we have that confidence that Jesus had in exercising the word. Yes. Oh, glory Praise to the God. Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus had no sense of lack. Oh, hallelujah. I mean, that is a mindset. Pastor Chris has taught us so very, very well about mindset. That was his mindset. He had no sense of disadvantage or limitation. Mm. Oh, Lord, I, I'm on my way to get there. Hallelujah. hallelujah. What a place to be. To, to have no sense of lack. That's the same mentality he wants us to have. Mm -hmm. And he wants us to live by. The spirit of God in you is the spirit of dominion. Hallelujah. I mean, that is exactly what Jesus oh, did. Yes. He took dominion. He dominated that circumstance. It's an awesome miracle that, he, that, that transpired there. Amazing sign and wonder. And Jesus took Dominion. He dominated. He subdued it. He did what needed to be done mm -hmm. with the extraordinary taking place at the wedding. Hallelujah. The spirit of dominion. And he has no sense of lack. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen to this. Oh, I just love this. If you don't have your Rhapsody of Realities with you, viewers, you have to listen. If you have it with you, underline this. Because lack is in the ordinary right. realm of life. Lack is in the ordinary realm of life. You know, oh, I'm telling you, this was the most amazing information that we received from Pastor Chris. He said, money doesn't exist. It only exists in the mind of the poor. Mm. And it limits you. That's what money is there to do. It's to limit you. It's a man-made it, limitation. Yes. There's something that Pastor, uh, I, 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 I can never forget that statement. It's something very profound he said in the book, How to Pray Effectively. And he says that the moment you recognize a need in your life. See, a lot of people think um, once they have a need, it's money that has to meet that yes. need. But Pastor says, the moment you have a need, it's lined up with God's supply system mm. immediately. Mm -hmm. And it is met. Because that is what he's saying. And, and that's what it mm. is. And, and why would you fret? Why would you worry? Because he that owns tomorrow, he that owns the future, is perfecting that which concerns him. Hallelujah. When you have such understanding, Dickiness, when mm. you have mm. such thoughts, when you have such a mindset, this is when you get to understand that lack is in the ordinary realm of life. Ordinary. When life. you are beyond the ordinary realm of life, you have been called to a higher Hallelujah. life. Hallelujah. We are not from beneath. Oh, yes. We are not from this ordinary oh, yes. life. Hallelujah. But from above. Been Glory be to, to God. And we've been called to a higher life. A super plane of existence. Oh, yes. Where there is no lack. Oh, glory to mm. God. The Lord is my shepherd. Oh, I hallelujah. shall not want. I oh, yes. shall not lack. Oh, yes. Glory be to oh, God. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. So like King David did, you boldly declare that the Lord is is my shepherd mm -hmm. oh glory to god you boldly declare it and therefore you shall not want viewers at home your basis for not lacking anything lies solely and completely on the truth that the lord god ah your father is the creator of the universe and him and him alone is your shepherd Hallelujah. because he owns everything Hallelujah. and he's not just your shepherd mm. he is the 
good shepherd. Oh, Glory to God. Wonderful. According to the word of God, the Bible pastor concludes there and he says, the Bible declares in the book of Romans, the eighth chapter, verse one, that there is now therefore no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus. Yes. To them that are in Christ Jesus. What is it that you need therefore? What is it? Nothing. He says the same way. There is therefore n now no poverty, lack, disadvantage, or limitation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. It says in that same way, there is therefore now no poverty, lack, disadvantage, or limitation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Sure. Hallelujah. Mm. What is it that you need? Say this right now. Say it as we are reading this rhapsody. Whatever it is you want or need, I have it. I have it. I Hallelujah. have it. For everything you need is inside you. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. glory to God. Glory to God. Write it down. The answer is there. And now say, I have it. In Jesus' name. Oh, glory to God. I, is it money? Is it a car? Is it a child? Is it school fees? Is it food? Whatever it is. Say, I have it. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. How can anyone think that Christianity is a religion? religion? No way. No way. No way. Which statue or idol or new age doctrine has such absolute authority as to tell you to look at whatever you need and whatever thought you have of whatever you need and look at it eyeball to eyeball and tell it that it has been supplied. supplied. It can Glory. only be by Hallelujah. the power of the word. Glory it can only be by the, by the spirit. Hallelujah. Whatever you're looking for, be it spiritual or material, you don't need to look far away. Pull it mm. out from within you. Oh, glory to God. For out of your heart are the issues of life. The Bible declares in the book of Proverbs, the fourth chapter, verse 23. So what do you do? Pastor says, yeah, look inwards and have no sense of lack. Mm. Look inwards and have no sense of lack. Because, you know, God's divine power has already given us all things, things that pertain to, to life and godliness. godliness. Oh, Hallelujah. glory to God. Superly and abundantly supplied for. Hallelujah. And it's so important what Pastor is saying here. For out of your heart are the issues of life. Mm. Everything, the issues of life come from your heart. From within. So we have to be very, very careful what we allow in. We have to filter everything that comes our way mm -hmm. because the world is negative personified. Through our eyes, we can receive it. Through our ears, we have to filter it through the word of God because what you allow into your heart is your life. And this is the mindset we're saying you should have. The, what you put inside you through the word of God, giving you a mindset yes. of knowing that you should not have yes. any sense of life. You know, Pastor, in, in the book, How to Pray Effectively, he also says you shouldn't have a mindset of the finishing process, that things right. come to a finish, that things come to an end. Because you, your God is the owner, your mm. Father is the owner of the universe. You have the author, there's yes. no finishing with you. Yes. Anything regarding you, there's no end to it. Mm. And this is why Paul says that giving thanks unto our Father who has made us, who has made us meet to be partakers. He has qualified us to be partakers of the divine inheritance. Yes. We are partakers of that inheritance. Hallelujah. That's superly abundantly supplied for life. Mm. We are a part of it. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm telling you what love the Father has lavished upon mm. us. That we should be called the, the sons, sons of God. God. Hallelujah. This is too <laughs> much oh, possibility. We are of the inheritance of in Christ Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, mm. for the life of dominion that you've brought us Amen. into. Thank you, Lord. We're taking a quick break while you pause and allow all this to enter your mind and heart and soak. You are watching Rhapsody of Reality's daily devotional program. Stay tuned. Enjoy life to its fullest. Get clear understanding of God's Word. And it gets into depth. It, it's got God's Word and then like an explanation and that really helps bring it home. Experience true love. 
Each day I see how God loves me and how he teaches me how to love others. Peace beyond comprehension. I feel in my heart the, the peace of God. I, I suddenly come to realize that this is something that I have been searching for. Perfect health. I could stand and I could walk and I could hear again. I, I just recovered totally. If the best is what you want, Rhapsody of Realities is what you need. Get your September edition of Rhapsody of Realities. Call now or order online at www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. Rhapsody of Realities, giving your day a lift. Welcome back everyone to Rhapsody of Realities. It's hot in here it's with a message here. that Pastor was sharing with us just before the break. Have no sense of lack. Wow, what a message. This is something you have to meditate on. What bliss. And then after you've meditated on it, just roar Hallelujah. in the spirit as you're letting it so <laughs> Glory to God. Wow. Okay, let's take today's confession together before we get too carried away, Dickinies. Would you like to lead us? I will. The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. Therefore, I refuse to have a sense of lack. Therefore, I refuse to have a sense of lack. For he supplies all my need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. For he supplies all my need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. I live the transcendent life of glory. I live the transcendent life of glory. Surplus and abundance. Surplus and abundance. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah. <laughs> glory. Hallelujah. Now you know that the message doesn't end at the confession. Yes, there's more for you to receive. Your further study scripture is Romans chapter 8 verse 30 and 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 21. Hallelujah. Praise Let no Lord. man glory in men for all things are, are yours. yours. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> glory to God. As we leave you today, take some time to follow the Bible reading plan that our man of God has been thoughtful enough to include for you so that you may grow by the word mm -hmm. and in the word. Hallelujah. Whether you take the one year or two year Bible reading plan, invest in yourself mm -hmm. by following it, mm -hmm. not just speed reading it, or worse, ignoring it. Like it's not there. <laughs> Absolutely. We've had a glorious time in his presence, sharing the word with all of you. So until tomorrow, keep reading your Rhapsody of Realities as you meditate on the word of God and stay blessed. We love you. God bye bless. bye. City.